Oh yes, guys. I'm back in the Lake District for another epic wild camp. I've just drove along the edge of Ullswater and there was a camera crew there from ITV News, I think it was. There was hundreds of people had the phones out recording. Apparently, there's been a sighting of a dorsal fin by the edge of the lake. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. You know who's Batman Dingoes? The human dorsal fin. You ready for this one, mate? Oh, yes. Right, guys, I'll bring you back when we're making our way up the little mountain with little Mick. Right. Wow. Swing low, sweet chariot. <laughs> so, welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, folks. Yes, I'm joined this week by my good friend, a little schmickaroony, so it should be a great camp. That's where we're going, guys, up to the top of Holland Fell. That's not the top, it's a bit further beyond. But it's not a long walk, perfect for little Mick, with his little legs. It's like Mount Everest for him. So he does well, you know, to get these hikes done, carrying a, a really heavy backpack with loads of beers in. And that's what we've got tonight, guys. We've got loads of beers. Plenty of whiskey. We've had a really nice top quality bottle of whiskey. Kindly bought for us. So you know what's coming, Mandingos. The world famous whiskey with you. Little mix probably is going to be blot or I'm probably going to have to help him in the tent again later on when he's smashed at Burgard. <laughs> you better believe it, Mandingos. Okay then, guys. Oh, it's only a little one, but it's very steep. I will see you legends when we're getting close to the top. You know it makes sense. Get the rest, mate. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sell us your dinner medals. How am I? Let's kick on. We're not far from the top now, Mick. Five, ten minutes, guys, and we'll be at the top of Holland Fell. We'll go up to the Cairn, the old Cairn Barlow, get some nice footage looking down on Ull's water, and then we'll get a pitch. We'll find a nice spot for me and Mick to set up tonight and let the drinking begin. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Yes, that's the style, Mick. So here we go, Mandingos. We're at the summit. 
of Halland Fell, looking down on the beautiful Oolswater. Perfect Amondo Mandingos, as they say in the Dudoink. Class in it. Couldn't have asked for better weather. It's only February and um, <laughs> it's one of the best days I've had for wild camping and all the time I've been coming to the lakes. Right then Mick, we're going to drop down there a bit. There were some perfect spots there to set up the tent, but there's going to be people constantly walking past us and we don't want that. So we're going to go down there, find the perfect spot, Dingo Man Dingoes, I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela. You know, makes sense. So I'm sure there's a brilliant spot just over this ridge monkey. Oh yes, Mick. Oh yes. This will do for us. Nice flat spot away from the top where there's going to be loads of people. Beautiful views down on Old's Water. Yes, guys. Right then, Howie, let's get this tent up as quick as we can because me and the human dorsal fin have got a couple of beers with our names in it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I bring you back in a couple of secondas. Right. <laughs> oh. Ah, <laughs> almost set up Mandingos, little mix just checking the football scores, the mighty Sunderland are winning 3-1 against Plymouth, look at that, that's our view tonight, you won't get a better beer garden than that Mandingos, you know exactly what I'm talking about, tremendous, yes, we're in the Berghaus, Cairngorm, the old Berghaus, Berghaus, so good they named it twice. Cairngorm, two manor, I made a schoolboy error the last time I used this tent, I didn't totally dry it out and it was a bit damp inside, it was a bit moist. Oh matron, so I've just got both doors open there, letting a bit air in, we've got our air beds there, ready to pour in. I've got the Berghaus one mixing, got his little OEX mat there. We've got foil mats and that to put down first. We'll do that in a few minutes. Our Scrandingo for our main meal. We've got a hot chicken curry. And with that, we've got some special fried lice. Kindly give it to me and Schmick, our good friend and main channel sponsor. Uncle Bensky Bates International Playboy Bunny Bar and Tunes. The British gas price are far too high on Lifetime Achievement to watch. The rich and famous after party patron house of Love Shack, Baby Shark Attack on Bondi Beach, and Australian Rules Club Football Biscuits are really nice to your face from the Ian Team Game. Changing rooms and sports directors, cheapest shifts, manding goes. Oh, yes! You know exactly what I'm talking about, and you better believe it. <laughs> First time, Mick. First time again. <laughs> oh, I'm class, all right. Why, well, I'm some lyrical genius. Right, for our snackaroonies, we've got some Spanish ham dingo. We've got some caramelised bunion pork pies. We've got some of these. Smokehouse barbecue nibbles, peas and corn crunch. They're quite nice. Fresh from Aldi. We've got some of these as well. 39 pence or 40 pence or something like that from Aldi. Um, cashew nuts with cranberries. We've got these ones, chocolate fruit nut mix. Just a bit something to do a bit snack a on later on. And um, what else have we got? We've got some nice biscuits, which we'll also do for breakfast. They're not called nice, they're called nice. Aye, why I mate, I'm calling them nice. You better believe it. We've also got some short ass fingers. Oh, sorry, Mick. Sorry, I keep saying short ass by accident. I mean shortbread. Shortbread fingers, guys. Slip of the tongue, dingo. We've got a couple of caramel cappadingos. We've got more coffees in there in case we need them. That'll do in the morning. 
coffee and biscuits before we head off to Mackie G Spots for a breakfast. Drinks, what have we got? We've already had a can dingo of that while we were getting set up. Bringing Seshi back. Bringing Seshi back, Mick, that's your cue. Seshi? Bringing Seshi back. Go on then. We're bringing Seshi back. <laughs> Mick's missed his cue there. He was going to dance and gun. We're bringing Seshi back. He's too busy checking the football scores. Don't worry about it, Mick. <laughs> We've also got four cans of this bitmap. They're all from a company called Glasshouse. Glasshouse Beer Company. Them has been kindly given to me and Mick for free. To enjoy so thank you to the legends from the company glass house beer company we will certainly enjoy them later on and we'll tell you exactly what we think about them we've got a couple of bottles of red wine later on just to add a bit of sophistication sophistication <laughs> mad for it just add a bit of sophistication to the blot outdoor show and we've also got a lovely bottle of ed radua i think that's how you say it i'm not sure i'm guessing Edward Dewar, single malt Highland Scotch Waski. That's been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of Big Col. So cheers, Big Col, my man friend. Me and Mick will certainly do, we will ding dang do a world famous review later on. We've just had a little chest warmer. Oh, and I've got to say, it's one of the best waskies I've ever had. That's all I'm saying. You'll have to stay tuned for the review later on. I've got a couple of bottles of waters there. With a dry mouth dingo, Inzy Morgan, and a coffee. Mick's got some water as well. Okay then, that's enough of me talking shite. We're going to get everything completed now in the tent, get the foil mats down, get the sleeping pads in, sleeping bags, and all that shite. And when I bring your legends back, me and Schmick are going to be sitting in Britain's best beer garden. You know, makes sense. We're going to have a few beers, mate. Yes, well. And we'll bring you back, way. we'll bring you back soon. And talk some more shite. Oh yes. Right. Right, folks, little mix just having a quick slash corn. <laughs> While we've got the last little bit of light left, because it's going to be pitch black in about 20 minutes, we're going to make our way up to the old Ken Barlow, take in some views, and then come back down and get some serious drinking done. You better believe it, guys. How are you, Schmick? There's a way at the top. Bring you back in a nail sedaka. Lice. Are you some Kim Kardashian? Oh yes, my fan sexuals. Back up to the summit of Hallenfell Dingo. Man dingoes. Might as well enjoy some views. Oh, it's absolutely pitch black. A little bit wind up here. We're lucky. We're in a nice little sheltered spot. Mint. Class, isn't it? Class. The perfect camp to bring the human dorsal fin back out on. Oh, you yes. better believe it, guys. This is what it's all about. And if you're thinking about getting into something like this, I know a lot of people think, oh, well, I can't do it. I can't get up them hills, because you might be a bit anxious about trying it, a bit apprehensive. If this little man didn't go to do it, you guys can do it. Oh, yes. Start off somewhere, just low. Get out camping in some local woods. If you live by the coast or not far away, get down the beach or on the cliff edge. 
and then work your way up to doing this. Not that this is anything, you know, dangerous. This is a very easy one in the Lake District, but it's perfect for Mick. It's perfect for me. I'm not the fittest lad in the world, so I'm quite happy doing this. As long as I'm sitting there at the tent with a few That's beers. Goal, exactly, mate. Chest warmer, whiskey. That's the style, Mara. That's the style. Mix, mix talk in total sense. As long as you've got a few canned dingoes and a few little, oh yes, chest warmers. That's all you need. You don't have to be doing these, you know, really dangerous wild camps. Just get out and get up somewhere like this. You cannot whack it. You cannot whack it, mandingos, as they say in the deepest forests of the Congo. And they definitely say that there. Well, Mick, we're going to take in a few more minutes of these views. I'm going to press stop on the old camaraderie. I'll bring your legends back. We're back down the tent. Then we're going to crack open some more beers. We're going to have some chest warmers. We're going to talk some shite. And then later on, we're going to cook a nice hot chicken curry with Uncle Bensky Bates International Playboy Bunny Boiler Licicles. You better believe it, Mick. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mice. <laughs> right, Schmick, here we are, back at the tent. Time for another beer. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, time for another beer. There you are, Schmickel Dorsalfin. Here's the goal. Oh, yes. Cheers, man, dingoes. Cheers. Cheers, Schmick. Nice can of bringing Seshi back. Bringing Seshi back, Mick. Yeah. Bringing Seshi back, that's bring your cue. Bringing Seshi back! Bringing Seshi back! Come We're on! Bringing Seshi back! <laughs> Let's all have a session! Come on! <laughs> Why well, you some Kevin Costner? Some up there. <laughs> what the session now? Yes, we're on the session now, guys. Come on! Kindly given to us from Glass House. I was drinking these on the last camp I did, the stealth camp, behind the petrol station or the gas station, whatever you want to call it. Very citrusy, aren't they, Mick? Yeah, very citrusy. They're really nice. Very nice. These ones is only 3.4 placenta. Placenta is the famous words of Cowboy Chris. You know what makes sense. We've gone to the 2H of some more beers from Glasshouse called Bitmap. Them ones are a bit stronger. 5.6%, something like that. So we're going to open them soon. And when we do, we'll tell you legends what me and Schmick think about them, but these ones are really nice, aren't yeah, they? really nice. It's just getting a little bit chilly on the old willy, guys. So we've getting mixed got an extra layer on underneath there. You've got more stuff, haven't you? More. more layers on. He's got more trousers to put on. I've got... More socks, more underpants. <laughs> more t-shirts, woolly hat, gloves. You do need spare underpants, like, when, you, um, when you've got to go for a, a good old Papa Don't Preach. You know what I mean, Mick? When you're in trouble deep and you need a pat to preach and you get the old skid macaroonies on the underpanty girdle. You know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Yeah, we've got plenty warm clothes. I'm wrapped up, I'm nice and warm. I'm going to get the glove dingoes on in a minute. Not the old glove of self-love. That'll have to wait later on. Anyway, guys, we're going to enjoy this. We'll bring you back very soon. Licicles. Yes, cheers man dingoes, yes. this party is just getting started, when we're not recording, we've got the music playing, we're sitting there enjoying a nice bit of Kings of Leon, but we've got to turn the music off when we're talking to you guys, because the video will get copyrighted, you know the score guys, I've explained this before, we're now on the bitmap, 
from Glass House Beer Company. This one is 5.2% and it's very nice. Oh, it's very nice indeed. I thought with it being a bit stronger, it might not be quite as nice as the last one because normally the weaker they are, the nicer they are because they normally like pop, aren't they? But um, it's just as good. It really is just as good. Now, Mick, I'm getting like a nice fruity, crisp peach taste with it. That's what I'm getting. What are you getting, my little man friend? Like tropical fruits. Tropical fruits. Yeah, I can see where you come from. It is very fruity, very fresh, very crisp, peachy for me. Really, really nice. Check out this company, guys. Glass House Beer Company. And if the guys from Glass House are watching this, send us some more beers, please. Please, can I have please, some more? Can I have please. some more, please? <laughs> I know you do some more beers, and we will happily try the other ones that you've got, because these ones that we've had so far, Bitmap and bringing Seshi back. Bringing Seshi back. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Jubilee is the sea in the south of France. Bitmap. From the Glass House Beer Company. Very nice guys. Well, we're going to finish this off. We're going to have a few chest warmers. Going to put the old camaraderie down for a good hour. Because, like I've said before, it's fantastic coming out camping and videoing and talking to you guys. We... You know, as well as making the video, we've got to enjoy it. And we've got to sit and turn the camera off and just enjoy while camping in an amazing place like this. So we'll bring you back. We'll bring you back. Bring you back. Bring you back. Bring we'll back. bring you sexy back. <laughs> we'll bring you sexy back <laughs> very soon, guys. You better believe we will. And you know, it makes absolute total sense. Right. Right. They're more nice, them. Are you some Andy Wardle? <laughs> <laughs> Spit of Paul Mesner. Paul Mesner? Was <laughs> he? Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Cheers, guys. Oh. Oh, amazing. Oh, the glove of self love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, guys. Time for a nice little drop of red wine, Spanish red wine from Aldi. One pound sixty-five pence per bottle. It's quite nice, isn't oh, it? That's nice, isn't it's it? no special. Don't get me wrong, dingo man, dingoes. But for, for wild camping, a little bottle slipped in the old bag, Dad. Lovely jubbly. Oh yes, and with the Spanish red wine, we are having some of this Spanish ham dingo. Yeah, schmick. Get some of that down your Gregory Peck. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. Mm. Nice, isn't it? That's very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Well, man, dingoes, while we've got your attention, might as well answer a little question. And I have definitely answered this before. I know I have. But it was months and months ago. And the Blood Outdoor Show was gaining every month 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. Goes up and down dingo all the time, man, dingoes, as they say in the do doing. So, yeah, it's gaining round about 2,000 new subscribers every month, and I'm constantly getting asked, 
What is the glove of self-love all about? What does it mean? Where did it start? What the frig are you talking about? Bonnie lad, Mandingo, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, right, to answer one point about it, it means absolutely nothing. So don't think too much into it. Some people are saying, oh, I think it means this or I think it means that. <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. It's just my stupid personality, my my ridiculous channel, which is called The Blood Outdoor Show. It's completely different to every other wild camping or stealth camping channel. And I think that's what makes it work, Nick. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I've oh, got I'll go have a with Daz, all I? my guests on the channel. This yeah. absolute legend, little Mick. So if I you know, along with them, it's all Daz. <laughs> what an absolute legend! It's a <laughs> It's a joy to have Mick out with me once a month. Young Chris, Cowboy Chris, Mrs. Blot joins me now and again in the food reviews and she's going to come out, she says, on some wild camps at some point this year. Probably when it gets a bit warmer. Yeah. <coughs> what am I talking about? I'm totally just going off track as usual. I'm supposed to be talking about the glove. The glove okay. of self-love. Oh... <laughs> yeah, what's the glove all about? You know what I mean? Yeah, before we tell you about the glove, <laughs> let's have some more Spanish ham dingo, Mick. I'll tap you on it, mate. Oh, he doesn't want to touch the one I've touched. A bit loud. All right, mate. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Well, like I said, it means absolutely nothing. Mm. If you go back to like nearly a year ago, I've done a stealth camp behind some garages in the middle of a council house estate. And uh, when I camped behind the garages during that video, it was just there. It was lying on the grass next to loads of other rubbish, trash, you know, like empty crisp packets, beer cans, Coca-Cola cans, sweet papers. And while I was videoing, you know, when I'm getting some food taj of the tent in the dark and I turn the camera around, the glove was just there on the floor. So without even thinking about it, Nothing planned dingoed, man dingoed. I just said, oh, mate, front on the glove. Well, about two or three days later, when I was walking along to the local shop to get some bread and milk or, or whatever I was getting, I was passing them garages and I thought to myself, I wonder if them gl if that glove's still there, yeah. Mick. So I popped behind the garage and it was there. So I grabbed it and I took it home and I thought, Every camp, this glove is coming out on me. I'm normally by myself, so it's a big company. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the story of the glove of self-love, guys. There's nothing, there's no meaning to it. No meaning at all. I came across it by chance, by pure luck. You know, life wouldn't be the same without the glove of self-love. And I went back two or three days later, I grabbed it, and it's came with me on every camp since. And that's about it. So... Yes, I've got some hand wipes and all that. Don't, don't. You've got some hand wipes. That's what I've been there. <laughs> I think I need some mouthwash after putting that in my mouth. <laughs> but there you go, guys. That is the story of the glove of self-love. I just found it lying there. <laughs> there's nothing... There's, there's no meaning to it. No meaning at all. It's just me being a complete idiot. On the Blood Outdoor Show, you know what makes sense, man, Dingo was. Mm. Well, me and Schmick. Cheers, man, Dingo. Cheers. Cheers, uh, you uh, absolute cheers. legends. Mm. We're going to stop talking shite. We're going to put the camera down for a good half an hour. We're going to have a couple of chest warmers, Mick. As well. Might as well have we a couple well. of little chest warmer roonies. And when I bring you legends back, you know what time it's going to be. What time is it going to be, Mick? Time for the old what? 
Waski review. You better believe it, guys. You better believe it. The world famous Waski review with you. You don't miss total sense. Yes. Right. Uh. Ho oh, ho yes man dingoes. You know what time it is. Waski time. You better believe it is, guys. And what we've got, hold on, Mick. Oh, hold man. on, you come too quick. Oh matron, little Mick comes too quick. We've got Edward Dewey, Sauterns, Highland, Single Malt, Scotch, Waski. Kindly bought for us by a legend. If the name, am I saying that right? From a legend by the name of Big Cole. So, Big Cole? Cole on? <laughs> Sorry, guys. We've had a few drinks. We've had a few beers. We've had wine. We've had whiskey. What we're trying to say is, is Big Cole. Thank you so much, my man, Thank friend. You, man, friend. It is very much appreciated, isn't it, Mick? Oh, yes. We haven't recorded anything. We've just been sitting, chilling, having a few drinks. We haven't recorded anything for a, a good hour or so. As you can see, the waski and the beers Take have those. taken effect. You know it makes sense, man. They you go. know it makes total sense, Mick. Well, we've had a great really time. Is, <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> but we've got to get the waski review oh, done. We'll get it in, then. We'll get it in. <laughs> what? <laughs> we've, got <to> get... <laughs> we've got to get the whiskey review done before we go in the tent and get the old scrandingo Cooking in the old pansexual. The old Pan pansexual. Oh. You know, it makes sense, guys. Yes, yeah, so like I said, we've got Edred Doa, or Edred Doa, whichever one you see it, the Sato cask version. A full bottle. I'm seeing a full bottle of this. This is a full bottle. A bottle of this will set you back round about the £70 skid mark. So, it's a very good quality bottle of waski. So, me and Schmick want to see a big, fat, massive, ginormous thank you to Big Col for supplying us with this waski for this week's world famous with you. Anyway, that's enough of us talking shite. Let's get on with the waski with you. Get that pop in there, Mick, in the old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Oh, yes. If you've watched the channel long enough, guys, you know that I've been doing the Waski reviews in this cup for about, oh, how long? About 27 years now, something like that. 26, 27 years. A lot of you new sub, 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 subscribers won't realise that, but my loyal followers will know. 25, 26, 27 years with the old famous Cub Dingoes. Go on, Mick. You have the first sniff Rooney. And you tell me what you think about this beautiful Highland single malt waski. What are you getting up the old Nostradamus? Smells nice, but I don't know. Smells nice, but you don't know. Why are you some lyrical genius? Well, Mick says he's, it smells nice, but he don't know. I'm getting some nice... Fruity elements there. Ah, that's not what we're getting. Go on. Fruities. You get a sniffer in him, mate. You tell, oh, smelling, you tell the old fan sex what you think. I've got some fruities, aye. Some fruities. Tooty fruities. Aye. A fr yes, nice fruity element. Aye, definitely getting fruity to his eyes. <laughs> there you Can go, you guys. Foods? There you go. Words of wisdom for my little man friend, little Mick. I'm getting... I don't know exactly what it's about, though, but... Oh. It's nice. It's nice smell, though. Nice. Like a lovely very, fruity. Very, very nice. I'm getting like a nice... For me, personally, I might be wrong. If you check online, on Google, you'll probably get a completely different thing that I'm getting, but this is my honest opinion. Peppery. A little bit of a peppery kick, but not overpowering up the old Nostradamus. And I'm getting like a... Like a dark fruit, maybe like a, you know, like raisins, 
when you get like a, a nice raisin thing going on. Do you want another sniffer, any? My little man friend sexual. You getting anything there, Mick? I've got a bit of raisins. Raisins as well? Here's the man, there goes. Why are you original? I have. <laughs> I am getting a bit of raisins, aye. It's the same as the raisins, I've got a bit of raisins. That's enough of the sniffing. Raisins. Let's get on with the tasting. Get a bit of raisins, aye. Right. Yeah, How are they? Makes sense. Let's get down the old throat, dingo man, dingoes. Oh. Oh, yeah. I tell you what. That is absolutely tremendous a little bit of a peppery kick but it's not spicy that might not make sense to you guys peppery the tiniest little tingle on the old tundingo but it's not spicy and it's quite thick like uh, let's just see what's the best way of explaining this you know if you've got a bad cough and you're taking some medicine and it's nice and thick and gloopy down the old throat sexual oh, like that not quite as thick as medicine but nice and thick it's not watery it's not like cheap shit if you know what I mean guys it's nice and thick it's beautiful and a really strong taste of wine for me give us another taste that Mick before you tell me your thoughts. Oh, 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 suit you, sir. Oh, suit you. It's like <laughs> a very strong wine taste. So if you imagine whiskey and wine mixed together, the old fusel here, Beautiful. What do you think, Mick? That's nice. It's a nice little wine to us. It does, isn't it? It's a bit like rough. No, I mean. Yeah, rough and what? It's a bit like smooth and the. Rough and smooth? The old rough and smooth? It's a bit rough. Oh, down. he's back! A bit smooth down. Little like, Schmick no, is back. You know, little Mick's back. God's down smooth. Oh, no, yeah. Go you know, Mick's back. Goes down smooth. When the old Lovely rough and smooth is back. <laughs> bit, bit rough at the time, but the guy's out smooth. Rough and smooth so, exactly. at exactly the same time. That wasn't planned. <laughs> Little Mick is back got on track. Down there, but the guy's smooth down there. That's what I like to hear, Mick. Like to talk. You know Little Schmick is back in town when the waski is rough and smooth at the Not same time. <laughs> Give me a taste. Class, Mick. Absolutely Rough, class. Smooth. That is why I love this legend coming out of me. That's rough that way. It's smooth down, it? He doesn't say much, but what he says makes absolute total sense. You better believe it does, Mick. Nice. Mm. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Go on. Little Mick can finish the last jug of Rooney's off. Yeah. Like Mick says, rough and smooth at the same time. But I'm getting like big. And, if you know what I'm about that last time. It's not nasty rough, is it? <laughs> it's like a nice rough. I think what he means by rough is it's got a, a little bit Every of a spicy kick, down. hasn't it? It's yeah, got a little bit of a spicy kick. Down. But with it being with it being nice and thick and creamy, it goes down smooth. Ah, that's it's what, top that's quality. What I mean. That's what I mean. It's top quality. Where is the, the bottle? That's My God. Where is the bottle, Mick? There we go. There we go, my fan sexualities. Ed Redua. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is the Sauternes Cask Edition. And that is obvious. It's going to have a strong wine taste, which is what I said. It is one of the best whiskies, Mick. Oh, I've ever had. Before whiskey, we done the review, you know, when we were talking off camera, I was saying to Mick, oh, oh, suit you, sir. This is one of the best whiskies I've ever had. So, going on that, guys, I can't give it any less than a 9.5 out of 10 Dingo Mandingos. I've really enjoyed it. 
it's just been so thick and smooth down the throat. It has got a little bit of a kick. It's got a bit of a punch to it. You know, if I had my own waski, which would be a dream in time to come, if I had my own waski, blot outdoors waski, or rough and smooth waski. Exactly, Mick. <laughs> That's what I would like it to be like. A nice, strong flavour, peppery, but going down smooth, which... That's why I would call it rough and smooth. Anyway, that's just me talking shit. That's a pipe dream. That's probably never, ever going to happen. I'm just quite happy making these camping videos with legends like this. Absolute legends oh, yes. like this. And young Chris, cowboy Chris, Mrs. Blot. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingoes. This is the legend. You know what makes sense. Legend of an I'm going to give this. Legend of the North. <laughs> Spickle Door. Spickle Door, Spin. Legend of the North. The human Apparently, dorsal fin. <laughs> jawbone. Jawbone. Is he? Hey, mate. <laughs> Sell us your jawbone. Jawbone. What the hell are we talking about now? We're supposed, we're supposed to do... We're supposed to do the whiskey of you and... Now we're just pissed. Yeah, jawbone. <laughs> What's he going on about? Jawbone. Hey, mate. Sell us your jawbone. How are they? Come here. <laughs> I think we've had too much to drink, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Waski review. Did I say 9.5? I used to work with a lad called 9.5. I'm giving 9.5 out of 10, Dingo. Mick, what are you giving this? I give it 9.3 out of 10. A 9.3 and a 9.5. So average score of 9.4. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious wild camping. Right. right. How comes where the one? I don't there? know. I don't know what we're talking about there. What's the what's video again? Something like, eh? There we go, folks. We have a happy eater tonight. Any good, my man, friend? Oh, that's lovely, jubbly. Lovely, jubbly. You know what makes sense. Hot chicken curry with special fried lice. Little mix getting stuck in there. Just lying there outside nice. the tent. Yes, it's February, but we've been so lucky with the weather tonight. It's quite mild. The ground is damp, but it's not snow. It's not snorking. <laughs> it's no, not it does, soaking. <laughs> doesn't bother me. Sorry. As you can see, mixed kneecaps. They're not snorking. They're not. St <laughs> they're not. St they're not soaking, and they're not snorking. I tell you what, he's enjoying his nice hot meal. Oh, I love that. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Right, Mick. That's our sleeping quarters, guys. Where are we going to be going soon? I'm going to get my food on in a couple of Neil Sadakas. You better believe I am. When I bring you back, I'm going to be doing some serious Borussia munching Gladbach rice. You just take your time, my little man friend. Spin a rooney. <laughs> Did a cup get up? Might have messed your little bed. No, no. I don't mind, mate. I love you, Mick. I'm not bothered. Yeah. Whatever. Might have messed your we? little bed, are we? I'll help you in your sleeping bag. You just lie there. You just lie there. That's the style, mate. That's the style. Later. You just lie there. Yeah. I'll help you in your sleeping bag after yeah. I've had me chicken curry. I have it. I'm, I'm watching you. This is the canal. Well, you're some lyrical genius. Oh, oh. <laughs> Spit of Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah.
yes folks look at that a nice chunk of chicken mm. the old chicorny waver with special egg fried lice Mmm, a done mix fest. He's had his nice hot meal and he's now in his sleeping bag. Yeah. Do you enjoy that, Mick? Oh, it's lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. That's what I like to hear. Right. Are you snug now, mate? Oh, I'm snug, darling. He's snug as a bug in a rug. He's in his sleeping bag there. He's ready to go to sleep. I think by the time I finish this, the human dorsal fin will be out for Z count. Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. Wow. How hot is that? Piping hot. So this is just a tin of cheap chicken curry. The hot chicken curry. They do the, the mild and the hot. One in Aldi, one pound sixty-five a can, a tin. You can't go wrong, dingo man, dingoes. Obviously, I'm so fortunate. I'll get my lice free off my good friend Uncle Bensky Bates, international playboy, bunny borrower insurance, with British gas prices far too high and lifetime achievement rewards for the rich and famous after-party people. In the house of Love Shark Baby Shark Attack on Bondi Beach in Australian Rose Club Football Biscuits. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry for the language, guys. I can't, I, I can't get it right every time. Definitely when I've had a few beers and waskies. But you know what I'm talking about. Look at that. A cheap tin of chicken curry. Mmm, tell you what, that is absolutely tremendous with the Uncle Bensky special fried lice mixed in. Mmm, oh, it's better than the old tongue dingo man dingoes. Well, folks, you know what's coming now. <laughs> I'm going to take this chance to say a massive thank you. To all you legends. Mm. Wow. All you legends who have supported my little channel, the Blood Outdoor Show, over this last week. It is so kind of you. I really do appreciate it more than anything in the world. I've got a few people that donate every week week after week, month after month. So for all you guys that do that, you know who you are. Thank you so much. You are just unbelievable supporters of my channel. With all you legends who have bought me a coffee over this last week. It's so kind of you. And I love each and every one of you. I love everyone that watches my channel. Everyone, you know. Just give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, take 30 seconds of your time, dingo man dingoes, to leave this man dingo a comment. I know I don't reply to everyone, but I do like, I do love heart every comment once I catch up, and I do reply to as many people as possible. So yeah, everyone who supports this channel, thank you so much, but this one is a big fat mega Mega Sauros. A big fat Mega Sauros to everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show over this last week. Mm. There's your names down there and down there. My fan sexualities. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. More than you will ever know Dingo. Man Dingoes is the say in the do down. Cheers, guys. I am now going to enjoy the rest of my Chicorny Weaver chicken curry with hot <laughs> chicken curry with hot curry. What am I talking about? 
Oh my god. <laughs> right guys. I'll bring you back in a few seconds when I'm climbing into my sleeping bag and it's time to say good night Vienna and bonjour. Right. Mm. Oh yes. Yes, folks, that's it. It's time to get some shut eye. Little Schmick is out for the count. Oh, he's still oh, asleep. He's awake. I'm awake. You were I'm asleep. I'm ready to have the kit though now. You were asleep. I could hear you snoring. I was just resting my eyes. Resting your eyes. <laughs> that's what Mrs. Blot always says. <laughs> yes, eyes. he was resting his eyes. <laughs> I tell you what, guys. I'm going to be resting my eyes in a few little Winnie Mandela's. And on that note, I will see you legends. First thing in the morning, a coffee time. Coffee and short ass biscuit. Sorry, Mick. Yeah. I said short ass again. Shortbread biscuits and coffee time in the morning. Good night, Vienna. Good night. Hola. Bye night. Ciao. Bye night. Sayonara. Bye night. <laughs> <laughs> see you in the morning, Mandingos. Hmm. Right. Good morning, Mandingos. 9.25. Slept like a baby. Oh. You okay, mate? Yeah. Good Mom. sleep? Good sleep, yeah. Good night, wasn't it? Yeah. Tremendous, guys. Well, I'm bursting for a pee. Like I see it every morning <laughs> when I wake up camping. And to be honest, I could have lay there another hour. But I'm going to have to go out for a slash, Gordon. So, yep, yeah, bring you back in a few seconds, guys, when I've drained the lizard, the old Eddie lizard. And then we'll get a coffee on, Mick, eh? Yeah, well. We'll have a quick coffee and then we'll get packed away. <laughs> you better believe it. What a beautiful morning to wake up to. You've got to enjoy this because most of the time when you come to the Lake District and you wake up in the morning, it's either lashing it down with rain, it's freezing cold or windy. So this is a nice treat. Little Schmick has brought me good luck. My lucky little leprechaun, aren't you Mick? Oh yeah. You better believe it Schmick. Mick's just packing his gear away. It's a bit tight in there. For two of us to be doing that, so Mick's packing his gear away, then he'll come and sit down. Especially when my fat arse is away. <laughs> when Mick's done his, I'll get mine sorted. Quick coffee, and then we'll be getting out of Dodge City. <laughs> Class. So that's me and Schmick all packed away, ready for the off mate, oh, yes. offskis, jalofskis, Baghdad's all packed up, bin diesel with all our shite, let's get one last view of Ullswater before we hit the street, what a camp Mick, class, hasn't it, absolutely class, what a comeback for the little mandingo, if you want to see Mick out on more wild camps rather than stealth camps because I think it's nice bringing Mick to these nice places Hi, let us know in the comment section and I can certainly make that happen Mandingos well we're going to get going I'll see you when we're down the bottom and we can see you au revoir <laughs> I said it right this time <laughs> instead of seeing bonjour see you in a minute
Careful Mick, it's a little bit slippy and bungle. Spit the bear grills. That's it Mara. Yes! <laughs> well folks, the car park's in sight. We'll best hurry up to McDonald's, because it'll mix dine for a shite. <laughs> well my fansexuals, that's it. That's the end of this week's cotton video. It's been absolutely class. I've had a great time as usual. You absolutely enjoyed it, Mick? Class. Brilliant, wasn't it? Brilliant, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's the style Mix oh, enjoyed yes. it. You guys have enjoyed it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I know you were looking forward for the return of little Mick and it was absolutely tremendous. The weather was great. We couldn't have asked for better weather in the Lake District. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, Mandingos, please give me and the human dorsal fin a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do try and get back to everyone and I do read every comment. And that's about it, Mandingos, till next week. So thank you so much for watching. And please join me next week on my next foodie review Friday night video and my next Sunday night stealth camp. Oh, oh yes. yes. You know it makes sense. Right. Why are you some lyrical genius? Right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That'll do, Mick. Ah. Uh. Oh, Mason. You know, it's my turtle since my very nice.